Francisco Pizarro and the Incas, the arrest and execution of Atahualpa by me and Alonzo. Arrest of Atahualpa by Alonzo. Today we will be talking about Francisco Pizarro and how he kidnapped and killed the Inca king, Atahualpa. It all started in 1532 when Pizarro sent one of his priests, Friar Vincente Valverde, to speak to Atahualpa. He said that he was a Spanish ambassador from a great king overseas, explained that the Spanish ruler was a friend of God and called upon the Inca to pray to the gods. The reason that the priest said this is because the Inca were a very religious type of people and would do anything under the name of God. Arrest of Atahualpa Part 2 by me. The priest gave the king a book that showed his authority, which was a Christian book, so the king held it up to his ear, thinking that the book would speak to him. Only problem is that it didn't say anything. The king threw the book in a bad gesture. The priest shouted that the Incas were against Christianity. So his Spanish soldier emerged with guns on horseback. Now at the time, the Incas did not know what horseback was. The Incas thought that they might have been either monsters, half human, half monster, or they might have thought that they were half human, half God. So at the time, what Friar Vincente Valverde was saying actually made a little bit of sense. Okay, so what happened was when they emerged on horseback, they killed many unarmed and innocent people. While all of this chaos was happening, Pizarro and the priest imprisoned the king. Ransom of Atahualpa by Alonso. The Spanish visited the troubled Atahualpa in his cell and brought him food, clothes, and allowed his woman to come to him. It was at that time when Atahualpa understood that the Spanish wanted gold, so he tried to ransom himself for it. Little did he know that gold wouldn't be enough and that Pizarro and his men will take over anyways and claim Inca territory to the country of Spain. Pizarro could easily take advantage of this because he could execute Atahualpa, and when he's about to be executed, Atahualpa will give him tons of ransom money. When it came time for Pizarro to fulfill his side of the bargain and release Atahualpa, news came from Quito, one of Pizarro's highly ranked army generals, that one of the Inca's generals had assassinated Huascar. Now keep in mind that Huascar was at the same rank as Quito, so both of them were very highly ranked. Pizarro accused Atahualpa of plotting against him and put him on trial for treason. Atahualpa was found guilty and executed. The Inca revolt of 1536-37, along with the Aztecs' defense of Tenochtitlan, was among the greatest wars of resistance to ever have been fought recorded in the Americas. Thank you for watching this, and I will see you next time.